Hello, this is Rolf von Tesla Owners US and today we have a little inspection to be done it's in on an inspection sheet and after that we're gonna check check a little bit the front suspension but the most important is there's cooling liquid missing and uh, how to exchange it comes after the intro. Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done Okay, we're gonna start with the front and take everything apart and then look where we can fill in the G48 cooling liquid and you only get it now in four gallon or so. Actually, uh, my special technician told me that in the instruction cooling liquid will never have to exchange. And I read, read it somewhere, mm -hmm. there's after 50,000 miles it's supposed to be exchanged and so on. No, that's not the case. Look in the manual, and you did, right? Yep. And then um, it does not need to be exchanged, but it need to be refilled because it said it's low. And it's low, you better check. And then we check the suspension uh, in the front and maybe other things would come up. Uh, we're gonna see. Okay, here we go. Take this off, the front plate there. And then we're gonna take the whole tray out, right? Okay. The whole tray. Well, this is already off. And oh, the air filter as well, right? Yep. That needs to be popped up as well. Don't forget these ones. The light switch there. Yeah. Nicht schalter. Yep. Alles bleibt in der Wanne. Und die Außenverkleidung. I think you work a lot on these cars, right? <laughs> Not so much Model 3 before I left, actually. So... You see, that's what I'm hearing as well. Mm -hmm. You see that? Yeah. You well, it? it's, it's low. It's low, right? Yeah, it's low. Cooling liquid is super low. Okay. And this is the liquid container here, right? Yeah. yeah. It should be higher. They call it a super bottle. Super bottle. Yeah. Okay. So you can get a little picture of a. You can kind of see it in there. There you go. Now you can see it. Just yeah. Just that one. Yeah. It's, it's a bottle with a cape, and it looks like Superman, and it's got a Tesla logo on it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, we got an early VIN here. Uh, what? Uh, JJ called, told me, told me, and here is the refill um, box for that. That's what you have to screw off, right? So refilling it, 35 kPa. All right. So, and as you can see, it is very low. There's probably only a bottle in uh, a little bubble in there. What needs to be removed? But we will find out. That's specialty work. I would have used a <laughs> trick for that. A funnel? A funnel for that, yeah. Uh, but <laughs> if you're an expert, you can do it this way. So, yeah, he told me that uh, the, uh, to vacuumize it and pressurize it, the cooling system, it was done uh, later on. So, Maybe this one is not vacuumized, right? I don't know, but we find out. So, what happened with the early bins? Uh, they need to be they needed to be uh, refilled all the time because the method of vacuumizing and pressurizing uh, was not yet in there. And yeah, now what we did is we refilled half a gallon, 
yeah. as you can see and and basically that's it and and if you don't refill the cooling liquid then the, the, the car has to work much harder for cooling right the, for the battery system cooling uh, it heats up right yeah or? there's just there's a potential we get another air bubble ah uh, even another air bubble and we had an air bubble in here which we basically now kind of removed okay good so here's a funny design story about this upper upper struts here and the control arms right so when you look at the struts here there is a 30 millimeters uh, nut on top of the struts so and you would think when you put an uh, put a wrench on it or uh, what do you, what do you, call, what do you call a socket on it that the socket would fit in here you are being mistaken that's not the case the socket does not fill in here into that hole so what I would do is I would actually drill that up so that the socket for 30 millimeter get through there even when the small socket a 12 millimeter goes through here but not a 13 millimeter so if you want to change the struts here what you have to do you have to take the entire uh, assembly out uh, put the struts in and reassemble it these are these bolts here oh, where, are they? where they are yeah right there. there these bolts here and then after that you actually yeah after that you can go and uh, do a new alignment and this is way more cost than what you would expect so I would tell you <laughs> there's no warranty in that car anymore if we need to exchange them we drill them open yep. yeah yeah so we're gonna fit the 13 millimeter into the 13 millimeter and open this one a little bit more. So, bevor wir das hier zusammenschrauben, ihr werdet hören, die Pumpe ist aktiv. The pump is active, as you can hear it. So, here, that's pump, this seems to be the pump motor. Yeah, or one, of, one of them in the side. Mm -hmm. And it's tries to, you saw some bubbles here, it tries to get them out. And Okay, good. Uh, I don't know what we have to refill it, but maybe we have to drill one time a hole in here to do easy the I refill it. Well, I, I took it out so I could see the bottle. But uh -huh, you, okay. you don't have to remove the whole front yeah. just to get to this. Uh -huh, okay, good. So usually you don't have to, re but we wanted to see the bottle here if there's a leaking because that's important because it's also cooling the battery system, right? And drive units. And the drive units as well. And the computer in the front mm -hmm. as well. Yep. Right? So so you have no key cooling. If there's a leaking now, you have a real problem. And we wanted to avoid that. So an important topic about the exchange of the cooling liquid. Uh, because it's, it's a cooling system. And if the cooling system does not heat up under over 150 degrees, the cooling system uh, does not need to be exchanged at all. It needs to be refilled, but not exchanged. Not exchanged at all means that if the cooling liquid becomes over 150 degrees and gets too hot, it becomes corrosive and then it damages products inside the cooling system. And that's what you want to avoid. However, it's not needed because if the temperature does not get too high, you don't have to do it. Okay, we are complete. We did a little inspection and then we did the cooling liquid and actually as I, as we said before as you, you don't have to take it all the way out the trunk out you only can take the upper portion mm -hmm. out and, and in, in, insert it there uh, but we needed to check the cooling system at all so how it was and if it was good uh, if it's not leaking and so on and that was the case and then he tells me about interesting stories. <laughs> there, there's one interesting story with the Model 3 and the Model E, and there's still a logo on your cars. And I'm gonna show you some pictures here in the back uh, or in the in the movie as well. I'm gonna film it. There are two spaces where those logos are, mm -hmm. and uh, we're gonna show that to you. Uh, and otherwise, uh, thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and see you next time for another repair. Yeah.